Since we first covered 3i, a t l a s, a lot has changed. Now we have real data that's turning heads and sparking debates. The trajectory is very unusual, aligned with the orbit of the Earth around the Sun in a way that feels almost too precise. And then there's the timing of its arrival, which is very fine tuned because it comes very close to Jupiter, Mars, and Venus. The chance of that happening is 1 in 20,000. A statistic that's got everyone talking, Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist and one of the most prominent scientists in the world, believes this object might not be just a comet. He's even proposed intercepting it before it disappears, suggesting we take a closer look at what's really going on. High dash resolution images, spectroscopic analysis, and precise orbital models have revealed some unexpected details that are. Hard to ignore, we found water ice older than Earth, organic molecules embedded in ancient dust, and a retrograde path skimming past Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. There's also a coma that defies typical comet behavior, adding to the mystery. With every answer, 3i Atlas is becoming less ordinary, and that raises a question some scientists hesitate to ask. What if this isn't a comet at all? Some, like Avi Loeb, argue we should be open to radical possibilities that maybe, just maybe, we're not looking at a natural object, but something artificial that challenges everything we thought we knew for centuries. No object from beyond the sun's gravity had ever been confirmed, leading us to assume that if something did pass through, it would be rare, once in a thousand lifetimes. That assumption didn't survive the last decade. In 2017, we detected Aumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar object, with no tail, no outgassing, and a strange acceleration we still can't explain. In 2019 came to I, Borisov, this time clearly a comet, active, fast-moving, and chemically, different from anything we'd seen before. Then came silence until July 1, 2025, when 3 I, Atlas entered the picture. It was discovered by the Atlas survey in Chile, a small speck moving too fast and from the wrong direction, following a hyperbolic orbit inbound from the constellation Sagittarius. That direction matters because Sagittarius lies near the galactic center, a region dense with stars, radiation, and observational noise. It's one of the hardest parts of the sky to monitor, which means 3i Atlas could have been approaching for years, undetected until now. At discovery, it was already inside the orbit of Jupiter, traveling at nearly 60 kilometers per second, too fast to be gravitationally. Bound to the Sun, its orbit is open, meaning it will pass through and never return. It's also retrograde, crossing the solar system against the flow of the planets, which adds another layer of intrigue. Most concerning, this is the third interstellar object we've detected in just eight years, when before Aumuamua, we seen zero now, we're seeing them more often and always too late, and this sudden cluster has no clear explanation. Maybe our detection tools have improved, allowing us to spot what was always there. Maybe these objects were passing by and we simply couldn't see them until recently. But there's another possibility that's starting to creep into conversations. Maybe something has changed out there gravitational disruptions, stellar movements, or a shift in the structure of the galactic environment. Some researchers have begun to ask uncomfortable questions. Are we drifting into a denser region of space? Are galactic tides sending more debris into our path? Or is this pattern not natural at all? With Aumuamua, we had no chance to prepare, with Borisov, barely time to observe. But 3i ATLAS is different tits larger, brighter, slower. And for the first time, we have the chance to study one of these visitors in detail and in real time. And that's where things get even stranger. With Aumuamua, we had nothing but speculation to work with. With Borisov, we had limited time to gather data. But 3i ATLAS is different. Its arrival was late, yes, but not too late. Within days of detection, telescopes around the world locked on, including Vera Rubin, Gemini South, VLT, Hubble, and most importantly, JWST, 
What they saw was unexpected. At over for astronomical units from the sun, roughly 600 million kilometers, the object was already active. A coma had formed, a faint but visible envelope of gas and dust. Its tail stretched out into space, but oddly not away from the sun toward it. This tail orientation suggests the dust is made of larger particles, heavier than usual, resisting solar radiation. That's not typical for comets, and it's got scientists scratching their heads. Then came the spectral data from NASA's infrared, telescope facility, and the Gemini South Observatory. Scientists identified water ice, organic molecules, silicates, and carbon-rich material. These are not rare on comets, but the age and isolation of 3I ATLAS elevate their significance. Its chemical makeup appears unaltered since formation, preserved for over 7 billion years, older than the Earth, older than the Sun, orbital reconstruction suggests it originated in the thick disk of the Milky Way, a region of ancient stars and primordial debris, far from the star-forming clouds where our solar system was born. Size estimates very initial guesses placed it under one kilometer, similar to Borisov, but revised data from high-resolution photometry now places the nucleus between 4 and 11 kilometers across. That would make 3i Atlas the largest interstellar object ever. Observed by far dot, it's not just large, it's also unusually aligned. Most interstellar objects arrive at steep angles relative to the ecliptic, but 3i Atlas is just 5 off-plane, almost as if it entered through the same corridor we used to. Launch probes. Its path is set to pass close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter in that order, an unlikely sequence for an object arriving randomly from deep space. Then there's its visibility timeline. It will reach perihelion, its closest point to the sun, in late October 2025 at about one point for astronomical units. But during that period, it will be behind the sun from Earth's perspective, effectively hidden from all ground-based telescopes. This observational blackout coincides with its most active phase, a critical moment just out of reach, but not entirely. The European spacecraft JUICE, en route to Jupiter, and NASA's Psyche mission, traveling through the asteroid belt, will both be within 0.3 to 0 point for astronomical units of 3i. Atlas during this period close enough to potentially observe it directly if their teams decide to take the shot. For now, all we know is this. 3i Atlas is not just interesting, it's unprecedented, and it's giving us a look at something we've never had before, a preserved fragment of the galaxy's ancient past moving straight through our present. For all we've learned, 3i ATLAS still doesn't quite add up. Start with the orbit it's retrograde, as expected for interstellar objects, but the inclination is unusually shallow, just 5 degrees off the ecliptic. That's almost coplanar with the planets, a configuration rarely seen in bodies coming. From random galactic directions, dot then there's the approach path. After entering undetected from the direction of Sagittarius, 3i Atlas cuts through the inner solar system, passing near Venus, Mars, and Jupiter in a near-linear sequence. Orbital models classify this as coincidental, but some scientists aren't convinced. Avi Loeb has proposed a more controversial idea that 3i Atlas could be artificial, possibly a probe. He points to the precision of its orbit, the rarity of its trajectory, and the potential for low-level non-gravitational accelerations as reasons to investigate further. His paper, not yet peer-reviewed, goes further, labeling the object as potentially hostile alien technology. Needless to say, the mainstream scientific community pushed back hard. Most experts agree there is no compelling evidence of artificial behavior and the object's activity is consistent with a natural comment. But the doubts linger because this isn't just about 3i. Atlas sits about the pattern. Three interstellar objects in just eight years, all detected late, some barely, all slipping through narrow observational corridors and all challenging our assumptions about cosmic isolation. It raises an unsettling possibility. Are these really random visitors 
Or are we just starting to see what's always been there? We're still, what if we're only seeing the ones that want to be seen? The data don't point to invasion, but they also don't point to comfort. What we're left with is this, a massive ancient object from another star system carrying unaltered material from a time before the sun passing quietly through our planetary zone and disappearing again into the dark dot it's not a threat but it is a reminder a reminder that the universe is older than us stranger than us and maybe not as empty as we thought 3i atlas won't stay long in a few months it will pass behind the sun recede into the outer system and eventually disappear from our view another interstellar object recorded and archived but never truly understood We'll have reams of data spectral readings, orbital plots, high-resolution images from the world's most advanced instruments. And still, the essential question will remain unanswered. What exactly was it? A comet? Yes, by behavior, but one older than our star with a trajectory and composition that don't quite fit the standard script dot it moved with precision. It's dust defied expectations, its materials whispered of ancient places, far removed from anything we've ever touched perhaps it was nothing more than a cosmic relic a leftover shard from the formation of some forgotten system or perhaps it was something more an instrument a messenger a fragment of intelligence far removed from our own we don't have the tools to decide that yet but we're building them and with each new visitor we get a little close